Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves frontend development. In this video we will start building the first React collapsible component. Now that we have the static HTML in the browser, we will want to create a new collapsible component that will turn these panels into individual React components. We will go to VS Code and just above the panel we will create a new collapsible element or component. We will create the opening and closing tag and anything inside of it will be the text of the collapsible. Okay, so inside of the paragraph we will copy and paste the lorem ipsum and we'll pass the overview text as a title prop. Like this and now we can remove the two panels and only keep the last one just for the reference so we know what the markup should be and now we will need to create a collapsible component itself. So inside of the JS folder we'll create a new file, we'll call it collapsible.js. Inside of it we will import React, then import prop types from prop types and then we will create a class collapsible that extends the React component and at the bottom of the file we will export default collapsible. Okay, this will let us import it and inside of the class we will create a render method that will return a simple paragraph with text for now. That's the markup, we will save the file and we will make sure we will import it, save the file first then we will import it inside of the app.js, import collapsible from collapsible and if we save that and review it in a browser we should see the text on the page and when we look at the dev tools we'll see the collapsible component rendered with the text inside of it. Now let's jump back to VS Code and go to the collapsible JS file and we will try to get the title and children from the props of this component inside of the render method. We'll target in the these props, but to be able to get these props, we need to firstly include constructor. We'll need to get the props and run the super with props as well. Now we are able to deconstruct or destructure the these props and get the title and children and now let's grab the HTML from the app.js and paste it inside of the random method of the collapsible component. So that will give us the correct HTML markup and then we can replace the reviews with the title prop and then also the children, we replace the lorem ipsum with the children themselves. The children will render anything, any HTML that is between the starting and ending or opening and closing collapsible component tag and it will render inside of the panel body. If we review it in the browser, you'll see that the collapsible has two props. One is children and one is title. And if we go back to the app.js and we duplicate the component multiple times, we'll change the title to features and software. We can also render different content inside of it, just simply using lorem 10, the built-in snippet from VS Code to render different lorem ipsum and if we save it and view it in a browser, we'll see three different components rendering the same HTML and the children rendering the right content too. One thing that we forgot in the collapsible.js is to define prop types. So at the bottom of the file type in collapsible.proptypes and inside of this object we'll define title and we'll make sure that we're always passing this as a string and that will be it. 
I'm using the snippet so if you're using the same extension as I described in the previous video then you can simply type in RPT to get the empty prop types and then you just type in the name of your component inside of it we can define title again and just simply typing PTS will create a prop type string for us so we did it the previous one so if you're using the same extension that I described before you can use these shortcuts to quickly type in your prop types this is it for this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this until next time happy coding bye